Hello everyone. I thought I'd have some fun with magic squares. This is a 3 by 3 I started to fill in and my pen went funny so I just got another one. I'm just filling it in to show you. Now, as you will know that all these will add up to 15. 15 along there, 15 along there. Sorry. 15 along there, 15 along there. And also this way should be 15. And this way should be 15. So if you'd like to just add that up, and you can see that every which way you go is 15. What I'm going to discuss now is why do we put 5 there and why do we start with the 1 there. As you can see, nine, 1 to 9 are the squares. So we're going to discuss that and that and why do we get 15 all the way around. Why is this and how do we get that. Now I don't know maths that well but from what I can work out, if you get if you got 9 squares and you 1 add 2 add 3 add 4 add 5 add 6 7 add 8 add 9 equals 45 if we divide 45 by 3 because there are 3 3 squares equals 15 so that's why you get 15 when you add up this way and that way too um so how do you get 5 in the middle? How do we come with 5 in the middle? Well, obviously you divide this by 3 equals 5. So that's your 5 in the middle. I'm not too sure why you get 1 at the top, but that's how they start with the 1 on the top. There is a, a proper maths for this than the way I do it, and that is 9 squares add 1 equals 10 times 3, we've got 3 columns, times 3 equals 30 and divide by 2 equals 15 and that's the other way they get 15 okay now the way they get these numbers in these squares is they have to put the 5 in the middle because like we said they got 5 and they put 1 up here and they go this way up like this there's nothing there, so they got to come down to the bottom here, 2. So and then there's nothing there, so they go across here, 2, 3. They can't go up there, because 1 is there, so they have to go down here, making it 4. They go 5, they can still go here, 6. They can't go there, so 6, 7. They can't go that way, so what they do, they have to come down, because there's nothing to go there nothing to go there so they come down to this one seven they can't go that way but they can go this way so it's eight and then obviously they can't go there so they come down here it's nine that's how they fill the three by three square and that's why you get 15 across now you'll see this many different ways this can be flipped upside down and reversed whichever way and when you calculate this way and every way you get 15 um, all the way around so that's 3 by 3 square and that's how they work out um, the magic square. That's how they work out 15 and 5 every way you turn. And this way. And this way. And the other way of looking at number 5 going in the middle is you write the squares out like this, 1 to 9, and you have 5 in the middle, that will go there, and you have 1, 2, 3, 4 there, 1, 2, 3, 4 that way. So 5 goes in the middle, and when you fill in all these squares, you get, you get uh, 9 plus 15. So, you do, sorry, when you fill in the squares, you're going from 1 to 9 to get the 15, and you get the 5 in the middle there, evenly balanced out either way. We're going to talk about something else now. So, say for instance, we want to get 27, uh, 27 
but not 15. How do we get that? Let's have a look. Okay, so 27 divided by 3, because we got three, 3 rows there, equals 9. So 9 has to go in the middle there, obviously. Now, last one I said it was 1 to 9, but this one we don't know. So we're going to put 9 there, 10, 11, 12, and 13, and 8, 7, 6, and 5. So because 9 is going in the middle, and we've got 9 squares all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this one will not be 1 to 9, but it will be 5. To 13. Pen's running out. Okay, so 5 to 13 means that when we start with 5, replacing it from 1, 5 has to go there. Okay, and then we fill it in the same way as we did the other one. So 6 going across there, 6 has to go here, 7 has to go there, can't go there, so 8 has to go here, 9, 10 can't go there, so you have to drop down. To 11 and go there 12 and 13. Now if you calculate that that should work out to 27 every which way you go. Going down that way if you calculate this way 27 calculate that way 27 sorry 27 Okay, let's um, do one more square. Let's say we'll do 42, for argument's sake. So if we want the total of 42, we divide that by 3, that equals 14. So then 14 will be the number, the main number, that will go in the middle. And then we can have 13 here. 12, 11, and 10. And this side we can have 15, 16, 17, and 18. This way we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for the whole 9 squares. Middle number being 14, so we can put 14 in there. And this means that this will be from 10 to 18. So when we fill it out like we've done all the other squares, this should be 15, 13, 18, 11, 16, 10, 17, 12. In other words, this should all be added together that way to equal 42, 42 to that way, and every which way. So 42, 42, and we're adding downwards, 42 as well. That way, 42, adding that way, 42, 42. 42, 42. Hope you enjoyed that and um, do have a go. Have uh, some fun with it. Try different, different numbers. The pattern will be the same, even though some people might flip this round that way or this way, the pattern is still the same, same pattern. And the three by three square, you can get anything, any number, whatever you want by this method. There are other methods out there. Uh, thank you for watching.